and welcome back to another Amnesia custom story. For today, I have a suggestion by Matei Bozik. He basically said to perhaps speedrun all the custom stories. And there is one that I haven't played for a while. I'm not sure if I can speedrun it because I haven't played it for a couple of years. So I might have forgotten some stuff. But there is one that I was like, okay, I, I can replay this. Because it's a good custom story that I haven't played for a long time. And it's probably somewhere in my mind still, but not in detail. It is uh, La Casa, you know, one of those really old school custom stories, you know, those those old school ones. Uh, and it's made by Russ Money. Scientist receives a letter from a colleague, but the plants are averted when the plane engines fail, stranding our protagonist in the wilds of the jungle. Will you survive? Start. Writing of a side in uh, South Africa made my skin crawl with goosebumps and my heart race. Remembered as one of the, as the ones who saved humanity from all illness, all this all disorders. So this is like, really like an old school custom story. Newspaper clipping. The newspaper is brown and warm. Cure all. At all possible. Today two scientists, Albert Jones and Eugene Crowley are researching a new pharmaceutical that will treat all ailments. From the common cold to cardiogenic tissue. Two have been nominated the Nobel's Peace Prize and shoe ends if their research is inclusive. Nobel's Peace Prize, really? I don't think they give Nobel's Peace Prize to people, to scientists, that's for more for philosophers, right? Like the people that do something, I mean, a cure would do something great for peace, but they do have other prizes than the Peace Prize, right? No, whatever. Eugene, I hope this letter finds you well, as I have exciting news I must share with you. Last night, while I was kicking my feet up at the pub, I was approached by a well-dressed man. His hair was greased back and his suit was quite snazzy. He was obviously there for business. Business. He told me that he knew me from the research you and I had begun, but never finished during our time at the university. He then in great detail explaining how he stumbled upon it while attending college and found that we were onto something. Our research for a cure-all medication was closer to completion than we could ever have expected. He then went on to explain that we are only missing one chemical in our experiment. He called it Scientite as he produced a small vial of purple liquid from his coat. He informed me that the small vial of liquid was retrieved from a research team in South Africa. The team has found the source of Scientite and said it can be extracted in great quantities, but they need more scientists to aid in their studies. So that is where you come in, my friend. Travel to Africa with me and we will be remembered as the ones who saved humanity from all illness, all disorders. Signed, Albert Jones. Yay. Let's go. Expected the trees and bugs, but I didn't expect the plane's engine to fall fail. I can only remember waking up hours later alone. <coughs> and here we are in the jungle. And there's I guess my uh, plane crash right here. How convenient to have a crashed just near a crate with a lantern and some supplies. Very convenient. I ran for what felt like miles in complete darkness before coming to a small clearing. I think you have to go first to the left. Okay. I missed something. The tense feeling of being watched was something I couldn't shake, but then my hope for rescue was renewed each time I saw lights. I did say I should do this in a speedrunning manner. Well, 
Uh, I guess I can't be tell. No, it's here to the left. Something like that. Research entry 34. Dr. G. Friesman. It's been a week since we arrived at the site. Our contractor, a Mr. Blue, seems to have forgotten to mention that this research outpost, and the source of this scientite, was being held in the confines of this forgotten temple. The other doctors have made reports of unusual noises coming from the depths. I assured him it was nothing but the wind. I, too, heard these sounds, though. This place gives me the creeps. I just want to finish gathering this chemical and leave as soon as possible. Chemical, huh? Can you... Ah, I'm blocking him. You're not going to move. I'm no, 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 no. You're not allowed to go in here, sir. Only VIPs only. VIPs only. Ugh. Okay, he's too strong for me. Oof. Temple, pack entrance. I had no choice. I followed that monstrosity into the unknown depths. Alright, and here it starts. I don't know if I should uh, do spoilers or not. Technically speaking, eventually you'll have to jump down here, but I'm not sure if that's good to do right now. We'll probably bug out or something like there. Research entry 88, Dr. G. Friesman. The team was right. The sounds were a warning and we did not heed it. We had just set up after reaching a rich source of cyanide when Birmingham, our botanist, went missing. We called for her on the radio, but got nothing back. Soon enough, Lewis, our geologist, went missing during the search for Birmingham, leaving us with only myself, Dr. Kleiner, and Dr. Wang. We came back to the main chamber of this place after much discussion. We decided to board the main hall, wait three days for the missing team members to make their way back to camp, and if they do not show, we will return to Mr. Blue to form a proper search party. Alright, I do like when the notes are narrated so I don't have to do it myself. Because it gets very tedious sometimes. Alrighty then. Can't quite remember when this uh, release discussion story. I will research that real quick. In a loading screen, maybe now. These halls were visited, visited before myself. That was comforting. The conclusion of the past visitors was unsettling, though. Alright. When was La Casa released, actually? Well, the first release, then. Mm. Let's find out. I'm not 100% sure. I think it was like 2012. You know, Amnesia existed since uh, September 2010, and I don't think many custom stories were created in 2010. Most of them started in 2011. I know playing custom stories in 2011, but uh, I don't know exactly when this one was released. Yes, did you just lock that? Okay. Uh, uh, and eight, so it was released when? 2011, yeah, okay, 2011. So this is the actual old school custom storage. I will need a more complex tool to clear the rock wall. I mean, back in those days, this custom story was phenomenal. Phenomenal. You know, nowadays, it's still good, but not as good as other custom stories. You know. Okay. Two area doors. Let's go here first. To the bottom walls. These hours were visited before myself. I was comforting. The conclusion of the past visitors were uncertain. Here. <laughs> okay. 
All right. So yeah, I can't remember much from it. I do remember some events. It's one very memorable ev event because even if this was a really old custom story before this was released in 2011, I already had some experience with several custom stories, and there was this one thing that was pretty new that I haven't experienced before. That was scary. Magnus in the sewers is missing a lever. It should be nearby. I will annotate it once it has happened. It's time, yeah. Okay. I do remember this as well, vaguely. There's one there. Just, just don't follow me again. It does it again. Why? Okay, what I... Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I had to survive that, apparently. Alright. I had to survive that. One thing though, let's see if there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no lever here. Alright, so there are three, and then you have the crank wheel in the middle. And it's timed, of course. Everyone. Alright, I do think you have enough time. Crank? No? I did already show that, you know, the that it was solved, so... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I think you have to do it in a certain order. Oh, there's no one here. Interesting. Okay. Guess I remembered it wrongly. Guess I am. E anything of uh, value here? No, it doesn't look like we have some planks. Just down there. No, it's not okay. I don't need to worry about falling down. I can, I guess. It's not always guaranteed that you can uh, climb back up. Sometimes they break, sometimes you fall down because it's too high up. Ah, yeah. This I remember. Kind of. No! No, 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 no. Why would you put a candle here on the street? Do remember something happening here, I guess? It's so many. Well, a hammer. So I guess that's where they came from. From for here, back to the dining hall. You imagine this hall was once filled with families and children gathered around the tables. I mean, this hall, this this here.
Да, да, да. The annotation that I mentioned earlier. This door has to do something with it. One iron lock keeps the door shut, but I did. Okay. I thought I. There's the sound of unlocking it, but well, whatever. No, it's not. Unfinished chambers. The tense feeling of being watched returned as I entered the corridor. The smell of rotting flesh was presence. Oh yeah, this is also quite a memorable door place. Ah, the nostalgia. I don't have much nost nostalgia for um, 2011 custom stories, honestly. They mostly suck, but this one stood out. I didn't want another PewDiePie uh, uh, custom story at all, but I guess other people really wanted that, <laughs> because they were kind of famous. Okay, so I th do I have to trigger an event here? I don't know. I'm, I, sh I know that there's a, here an event, but... Or not. Yeah, no, I know what to do. I knew I had to do something with the rock and you had to throw it down there. I think it, my memory was first like you have to, because you have to lure a monster away, you know. You would throw this down, the monster would walk there and then you could do something else. But I guess that was not it. Yeah. Yeah, there was a monster. I knew there was a monster around this somewhere, but... Yeah, it went, so... I don't know. Oh no. Run for your life. The dining hall. Temple is alive. Something is near me. Something I can hear and feel, but not see. All right. So I think it can go here now. The hammer and chipper. Just one second. Wait. You know, to think that The Great Walk, you know, was released in 2013. So only two years after La Casa. If you think The Great Walk is an old school custom story, <laughs> La Casa is way older. Did I do it? Did I actually do it? Wait, 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 wait. I turned this wheel. Yes, okay, so now... Now's the time to return, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then. That the thing is hunting me. I could hear running water at the main chamber. Oh, you have actually rerouted the 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 water. Run. Okay, this is something quite new. I've been playing Christmas. I've been uh, playing. Oh, just a sec. I heard a voice inside my mind. Then the sound of roaring water engulfed me. Hours passed, and once again I woke up somewhere I have never seen. I have never seen.
so that was the thing that back in those days really surprised me because I've been playing custom stories already for a while and I never saw like a chase that would go through or continue past uh, a loading screen so that was like a chase that went past the loading screen so I was like okay I'm past the loading screen I'm I'm safe and then suddenly he was there and I was like shit So I have to do something there. I'll need some kind of explosive to clear the rocks in my path. There's equipment in the main chamber of this area. I can use it to safely mix any chemical. Okay, now I have to narrate it myself. Uh. Excuse me. Not concerning recent findings. It, come, it has come to our attention that there are dangers to health while excavating certain areas of the temple. Please use extra caution when exploring these new areas. First and foremost, cave-ins seem to be more frequent. Stay vigilant and aware. The air in here is quite musky. It can may contain harmful spores. Take breaks outside as much as needed. Birmingham has made a small batch of counter agent to find symptoms. Finally, use chemical A in use with chemical B, which is used to extract the cyanide from the fauna. It appears to be highly explosive and introduced to coagulated blood. This shouldn't be much of an issue. It's the only source found so far was down below inside the large chamber that Dr. Lee was aptly named the sacrificial chamber. Okay. So the jump did hurt me a bit. Alright, um, let's go to the left first. So, yeah. Came from there, I can't go there. Let's go to the left. Inner. Residentials. The lab was somewhere I almost fell at ease. Too bad it wasn't my lab though. Alright, yeah, I remember this. I have to s Yeah. <laughs> that one. I have to say, nice suggestion, uh, Matei. I've been really enjoying this so far. It's like really like down memory lane and it's still a really good custom story. Enjoyable to play chemical A. I I I for some reason I have a memory about that one. You know often when I played really old custom stories, simple lock past the door shut, I need a key. When I play really old custom stories that have been played for a long time certain areas give me like a feeling you know a, a feeling as it is i can't really explain what will happen but i'm sure something will happen so i guess my subconscious uh, really remembers it but my conscious not anymore Real bad feeling about this place. It's uh, the key. How, what, what's going on? Skull, what do you do? What did you do to me? Some sort of witchcraft. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm stuck. No. Is that the fate of this person? No, there are three people. One, two, three. Three skulls. Let me out of here. You know, I can't kind of light it. So. Oh. Oh. Okay, you know what? When I'm, whenever I'm gonna use uh, tinder boxes, never. Okay, so. This is one of those. Events, right? So I have to be patient or something like that. Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh, for a moment I th thought I saw something there, but no. Bruh. It's like, no, you're not having my hallway key. Yeah, one other thing, okay. Yeah, okay. And then suddenly it reversed back for some reason. I guess they weren't all too happy for me getting the key. 
getting the fuck out of here. There, that place here. Yeah. Chemical bees. Now I need the co coagulated blood still. Can I use mine? Probably. I do have the chemicals, you know. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, I think I remember this as well. The tomb. Yeah, I think I remember it. I mean, I played it back in 2011, but I did replay it somewhere in 2013, maybe 2014. I once and sure that I replayed this one once. Oh, I do remember this as well. Fuck, but there is small rotting flesh coming from this door. Oh, yeah. I do remember that door, and something really bad is going to happen there. There, like, hmm. I remember this as well. <laughs> Okay, that sucks. It's almost finished or something like that. Sometimes I get even scared of the lantern turning off by itself and like, <laughs> come on. Uh, yeah, I think I've searched enough here. I don't think this key works on here, right? No. Okay. Does, that doesn't work. I can go like this. Where you end up in the beginning, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's only one place to go. It's a bad place. It's a real bad place. Wait, I can also go here still. Gordon, I hope you aren't offended, but I've gone ahead to the lower levels of the temple with the guides, Carmelio and Elion. 
The roots of the Quezo Blossom lead down, and I expect to find our biggest harvest yet. It might even be too much for our little team of people to handle. I've been harvesting samples as we go for you and Dr. Wang to collect. The pure extract has to be diluted until we can bring it to a safer place. Carmelo and I unfortunately discovered the hard way that carrying pure scientite can have some adverse side effects. Uh, nausea, anxiety, paranoia, and possibly even hysteria if exposed for long periods of time. I'll rendezvous back with you tomorrow morning by the entrance. Be safe and don't trigger any Aztec booby traps. Gene. Alright. Okay, let's go to the bad place. Yep. This guys make makes my head hurt. Trust me, you're not really safe here. <laughs> you will find you down here, I think. I don't want to go into the closet. That's a grunt. Wow. Go fetch. Back in those days, I would sit and cower behind that counter, and he would just walk around the counter and be like, "Shit!" All right. Uh, eh, eh. I do it like that. Schmaldisch Pottisch. It's a key there. Key to what? I don't know. Okay. Key to uh, <laughs> being unconscious, I guess. <gasps> This wasn't like that. What the hell? I don't have the key. Yeah. Yeah, so basically it was the key to being knocked unconscious. And then suddenly the subconscious takes over. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I remember this. This is hallucination, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It's interesting how you can get large oil portions from your hallucination. I don't know if I should be glad or if I should be terrified. A discovery like this would have my name in college textbooks, but I doubt I'll live long enough to see a first edition. This, this is a sacred place, a gargantuan labyrinth for ritualistic sacrifices to appease the Aztec god of discord, the Jaguar, Tetzcatlipoca. He is described as a volatile deity with the power to cure all diseases, forgive all trespasses, and free men of their mortal destiny. Instead of choosing to bless humanity with his divinity, 
The jaguar god deprived us for the sake of his amusement. It is said that Tetzcatlipoca is the begetter of war. His name means we who are his slaves. Four priests would each choose a limb to bind. Then a fifth would plunge a knife to the sacrifice and carve open his or her body, removing the heart while it still beat soundly. They would place the organ in a bowl and toss the body down from the top of the temple. The head would be removed and displayed. This temple, it belongs to him. I have managed to ignorantly stumble my way far into its heart, and now, as the last shred of my reason begins to vanish and I finally turn to run, I find myself caged. As I face my executioner now, the routine of writing in a journal soothes me for a moment. As I come to the end of the century, and I raise my head to the dark, I see something stirring, coming to take my heart. Mm, okay. You notice that the voice actor had to take a pause to say that long Aztec name of the Jaguar. It wasn't there before. Weird. Let's go. Masonry. Could those spots have affected my nervous, nervous, nervous system? Am I going mad? I don't want to go back, I'm like... Is this is a very popular... So I could fit those gates by hand, so maybe there's a mechanism. It's a, a very popular moment in this crystal story. Hello? Is somebody there? If you're there, please answer. Please, the door is locked on the other side. Take this key. Please open it for me. But there's nobody there. It's a very popular <laughs> moment in this Christmas story. I didn't find it all too scary, but apparently many people on uh, YouTube found it very scary. <laughs> I think this is also the first instance of these suits moving by themselves. I didn't find this scary though, honestly. But many people did. I guess it's because this is also very new. Never done before those moving statues, uh, armors, suits, yeah, suits of armor. Oh, I see. I can't pick up those. I need those. Why? Okay, it's gone. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, make this jump. You can do it.
Ah, uh, yeah. So remember, panic here. Much panic. Library. What will we find in the library? We'll see that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.